Namaskar and a very good evening to all of you. Honorable Professor Dr. S.B. Mujumdar, founder of Symbiosis and Chancellor of Symbiosis International University, Dr. Vidya Yarvadekar, Pro Chancellor of Symbiosis International University, Dr. R. Raman, Vice Chancellor of Symbiosis International University, Professor Dr. Lovlin Gaur, Director Sai, all the faculty members, students, ladies and gentlemen. This is indeed a great moment that we have just inaugurated Sai. Symbiosis Artificial Intelligence Institute and I must thank Dr. Mujumdar for visualizing this great institute. All of us know that education has been life and mission of Dr. S.B. Mujumdar and for past 50 years he has been pioneering different streams of education and has brought world class education to India and to the state of Maharashtra. He has just narrated the story of Sai and I think the divine and spiritual blessings which Sai has got will make it one of the most successful institutions of this country. What is the difference between artificial intelligence and human intelligence? Artificial intelligence can predict your emotion but it cannot feel your emotion. Humans can feel the emotion. Humans can experience spirituality and that is why the humans created artificial intelligence. So I think today when all of us are talking about artificial intelligence there is a huge debate also it's going on amongst people that what is going to happen to the world after we embrace artificial intelligence, what is going to happen to the job market, how many of us are going to lose our jobs, how many jobs will become obsolete after the advance of artificial intelligence. But I would like to remind all of you, most of you are born in the mature dot-com age. Early 2000 was the mature dot-com age. And in the late 90s, when this dot-com boom started, it was a point of discussion that now with the advance of computers and internet and dot com boom, how many jobs are we going to lose? And what is going to happen to the entire world? But India gave the answer. And in a way, Indians ruled this dot-com boom and they became the pioneers for the world in the dot-com era and the digital world which was steered by the Silicon Valley was also dominated by the Indians. Today when we are at the verge of a new tsunami 
which is artificial intelligence i think we as indians have capability to withstand this tsunami and for that we require best of the institutions in the space of artificial intelligence and as rightly said by dr s b mujumdar we need to democratize this revolution of artificial intelligence and i think sai is one major step towards democratization of artificial intelligence and that is why i would like to congratulate symbiosis for taking this step at a very appropriate and right time in today's world we can see that artificial intelligence quantum computing and semiconductor these are the three pillars which are going to change every sphere of life the way we conduct our business the way we are we lead our life everything is going to change but i always say that any technology is like a horse you have to ride the horse you cannot be afraid of the horse you, you cannot, cannot shy away from the horse because once you know how to ride the horse it will increase your speed and efficiency and artificial intelligence is nothing but our virtual assistant which actually increases our efficiency which increases our speed which allows us to take decisions which are like precision which are like pinpointed and that is why we need to embrace the artificial intelligence for better of course today ai is posing many challenges before us i also i'm holding the portfolio of home ministry and the biggest challenge which artificial intelligence is posing before me is many digital frauds which are happening today like people get a phone call it's somebody's image it's somebody's voice but the image is created by ai the voice is created by ai and then you know the usual ask of ask for pin and the amount is withdrawn so there are many challenges it has posed <clears throat> i would like to tell you one thing that other day on social media i encountered my own video it was like you know normal video where i was giving a speech but the speech was different the voice was mine and i was telling such and such doctor has developed such and such medicine and i have already used it and you also use it <laughs> but i think we are talking about responsible ai you know everything in technology ultimately is a two edged sword but we should look at the positivity today <clears throat> in the sector of healthcare the ai is going to change everything 3 years back i went to a startup exhibition and there was a model whereby with the use of artificial intelligence they have created that created a machine this machine will 
take the photograph of your retina in 30 seconds and that photograph will be analyzed in another one minute it will have 50,000 slices of that image and with precision it will tell what is health of your retina whether you require any procedure or just a normal you know glasses or something like that now in such case just imagine in the very rural part where the doctor doesn't reach doctor doesn't want to go there now this machine can give give them accessibility to have ophthalmologist available without he being present so in the space of artificial in the space of healthcare artificial intelligence is revolution revolutionizing everything and again if you look at you know the making of new drugs artificial intelligence is helping in a way that the drug discovery has become very easy today we we have, we have started uh, now one mission with the uh, world economic forum to bring industry 4.0 the fourth industrial revolution uh, talked by uh, mujumdar sir into agriculture and today for agriculture the entire agriculture chain can become predictable right from preparing the field sowing and also the flowering stage up to harvesting every single thing can be monitored in such a way that it can predict what is the flowering stage and what are the you know impediments that can encounter what pests can attack if at all and that is going to make the lives of farmers very easy in fact we had a agri hackathon in pune and in that agri hackathon they have created models using ai by which it's only by analyzing the air they are able to predict what type of pests will attack the crop and how they should be stopped so i would say that in our real life today it is actually bringing lot of ease of living it is bringing predictability it is bringing efficiency it is like when we did not have a road we used to climb all those ghat sections like round 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 and today one tunnel and we are on the other side so the route which we used to travel 40 kilometers today with the technology that route by one tunnel is just 4 kilometers so i think this efficiency which is being brought today by ai in the government of maharashtra we have created ai chatbots and one of our application in the agriculture sector is developed in such a way it's also multilingual that a farmer can ask any question any whatever he requires in whatever language he prefers and he gets the answer not just answer but he also gets a demonstration so now he has a assistant working with him 24 by 7 today uh, when we look at uh, pune we always now we are quite worried about the traffic in pune because it is 
you experience it more than me because I don't live in Pune. I come to Pune. But now we have entered into a MOU with Google. And Google, with our legacy data of all the CCTV cameras on the road, is trying to build a model by which it will suggest us the alternate routes, it will suggest us timings on which there is a traffic jam and the reasons where are the bottlenecks, how those bottlenecks can be taken care of. So with one application run on AI, you can actually change and bring ease of living. We have, uh, we have created one institute called Marvel in Nagpur, which is actually working for, uh, into law enforcement. And the results are so encouraging that the cases which we could not solve for years, we are able to solve them very easily. Because today, see, there are in many cases, when the case is six years old, five years old, Analyzing the dumb data is very difficult. But now with AI model, this dumb data can be analyzed in seconds. And we great get the exact result. We can pinpoint towards evidence. And that is why government of Maharashtra has started uh, three institutes with the help of Microsoft one in Mumbai, one in Pune, and one in uh, Nagpur, whereby in the different spheres, these institutes will work. It will work in law enforcement, it will work in administration, it will uh, uh, work in agriculture, it will work in uh, technology, in different spheres. And we are also trying to educate people in at least basics of artificial intelligence. Last year we conducted a course, online course, with the help of Microsoft in artificial intelligence and we could train 10,000 women in the basics of AI. So I think it is right time that we embrace AI, we start creating human resource in AI, and we start dominating the AI revolution. And I'm sure that in this dominance, Sai will act as a catalyst and as a milestone institution in the future. So once again, I would like to congratulate Dr. S.B. Mujumdar for conceptualizing <laughs> such a great institute. And also would like to thank you for having me here for giving me opportunity to inaugurate such esteemed institute. Thank you. Jai Hind, Jai Maharashtra.